boys and girls. Good morning. This is our Christ Light application for the story or the lesson, the calling of Matthew. Matthew was a tax collector. Um, Jesus saw him and told him, follow me. So Matthew left everything behind to follow Jesus. He left his job. He left his family. He left everything that he had behind just to follow Jesus. Why? So he could learn directly from Jesus. So he could learn all about what it was to be a follower or a disciple of Jesus. So this is a good example for you and me. No, I'm not saying that we have to leave everything behind. But how do we follow Jesus? We follow Jesus by learning his word. Every day we should be opening up our Bibles and studying our Bibles. Not just when I'm having Bible history class with you, but even in our free time. Sit down, take five to ten minutes to read part of the Bible. Obey Jesus. In the Bible, God gives us good lessons, or God gives us good advice on how to live our life. He gives us the Ten Commandments. He teaches us what it means to be a follower of Jesus, what it means to live a life that pleases God. We need to obey that, to do what he tells us, to serve him in whatever way we can. Mom and dad tired when they get home from work? Help them out in the kitchen. Take the garbage out. Do whatever you can to help around the house to make things a little bit easier. Do you have a neighbor who's older? Go help that neighbor out rake their lawn, uh, take their garbage out, but serve him whatever ways we can. Whenever we help others, we're serving Jesus, okay? Now, how do we show that we're grateful to be a follower of Jesus? We honor Jesus with our words and with our actions, boys and girls, and our attitudes. I was a kid too, a long time ago. I didn't want to clean my room when my mom and dad told me to. I grumbled and complained about it. That was wrong. That was sinfulness. We honor Jesus with our words when we're talking nicely, when we're encouraging one another, with our actions, when we do what God wants us to do, when we help others out, with our attitudes, when we do our work cheerfully and willingly. I know it's not fun to do work. I don't like doing work either sometimes, but... A lot of it is in our attitude. So we honor Jesus with our words, actions, and attitudes. We also um, are, show that we're grateful to be followers of Jesus by telling others about Jesus, by bringing others to church. This shows people that we're proud to be Christians. We're proud to be followers of Jesus. It's a good thing to be a follower of Jesus. Um, so now we want to go and tell others about Jesus. That is the big thing that God wants us to do, to share his word with others so that many more people can come to be with him in heaven. So now that you've listened to this application, I want you to go to Edmodo and find the Christ-like quiz for this story and take that quiz. You're not going to do a good job if you did not watch the whole video. Have a great day.